Capacitor 1, capacitor 2, capacitor 3, capacitor 4, capacitor 5, and capacitor 6. We know the potential difference across the battery is 12 volts. We know each capacitor has the same capacitance at 1.0 1 microfarad. So they're all the same capacitance. I've identified them 1 through 6 so that we can talk about them. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out the equivalent capacitance of the, all six capacitors. After that, we're going to figure out the electric potential difference that exists across capacitor three. So we need to figure out the, the equivalent capacitance of the whole thing. This is a step-by-step -step process. You look at it, you tell me something that you see as far as things being in parallel or in series. You, Jim. Um, One, three, and five are in. One, three, and five are not in series. It's important to understand why one, three, and five are not in series. And I understand when you initially look at it, you might think so, Jenkins. Because the charge can go through one and not go through three. Correct. It can go through one and not go through three. It has to. It splits right here at between two and three. So one, three, and five are not in series. Uh, give me another one, Zach. Two. Two, four, six, five are not in series. That was very close. You can see why I went through this. It's important to understand these here. Are two, four, and six in series? Two, four, and six are in series. Why is five not also in series with these other three, Meg? The junction right there were between three and five. So two, four, and six are in series. Are two and six in parallel class? No. 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 Why not? You've got other things in the way, right? You've got four and three that are in the way, although you might initially look at that and say that they're in parallel. The only thing that is true right now is that two, four, and six are all in series. So we can figure out the equivalent capacitor two, four, six, because they are all in series, is going to be equal to what? What equation are we going to use? Miller. Series. So um, C equals Q over B. We're to figure out the equivalent capacitance. So we already have four capacitors in series. We already have an equation for them. Oh, right. So 1 over C1, or C2 plus 1 over C4 plus 1 over C6. All to the negative one power. So we have one over one plus one over one plus one over one to the negative one power, or uh, one third. Actually, yeah, one third. We can do it in terms of microfarads, right? Because one microfarad. So we now have the battery. We have capacitor one. We have capacitor three. We have capacitor five. But instead of having capacitors two, four, and six, we have a single capacitor. Capacitor two, four, six. What do you see now, Hillary? Um, one, three, one, three, and one, three. One, three. Are in parallel? One and three are not in parallel. Why are one and three not in parallel, Travis? Because. Um, because you can go through one and then you go through two, four, six. Because you can get to two, four, six. So you, there's a choice there. So it's, it, the one and three are not going to be in series, plus uh, one and three are not going to be in parallel because this two, four, six gets in the way at this point. Uh, three and two, four, six are in parallel? Three and two, four, six are in parallel. Yeah. Notice, I could have drawn it this way. I could also have drawn it this way. They would still be in parallel, which is harder for you to see that this is in that two, four, six, and three are in parallel, even though they still are, because this, these two are at the same electric potential, and these two are at the same electric potential. So the electric potential difference for three and two, four, six are the same. So we can figure out the equivalent capacitance three, two, four, six. What is that going to be equal to, Tyler? Um. C246 plus C3. 
because they are in parallel, they simply add. So we get uh, 1 over 3 plus 1 or 4 thirds microfarads. Now we can redraw our circuit diagram. And we get, we still have our battery, we still have capacitor one, we still have, or we now have capacitor two, what was it, three, two, four, six. So this is one, this is five, this is capacitor three, two, four, six. This is the battery. What now? So the, the remaining ones are in series. So the equivalent resistance then for the whole thing is equal to what? So C1 plus C3246 plus C5. No. Uh, one over all that. Individual. Yeah. One over C1 plus one over C3246 plus one over C5, all of that to the negative one power. One over one plus one over four thirds plus one over one. And you can see at some point the whole fractions kind of fizzle out. There's really no point in figuring out the fraction there. So tell me what is the number here? I want it without fractions. In the long run, we're going to not use fractions. So what do we get? Um, 0.36 repeating. 0.36. It's double repeating, right? 3636. Three, six. Uh, right. OK. So with sig figs, uh, 300, we'll go with 2, I guess 36. Or 0 0.36 what? 0 0.36. 0 0.36 what, Winter? Microfarad. Or 360 what? 360 nitish? Um, eco, no, no, uh, <laughs> yeah. nano, Alright, so, so far we have figured out the equivalent capacitance. In other words, instead of using six capacitors, each with one microfarad capacitance, we could have used a single one that had 360 nanofarads as capacitors. Now, our goal is to figure out the electric potential difference across number three. How do we figure out the electric potential difference across number three? charge over electric potential difference. So the equivalent capacitance is going to be equal to the ch total charge delivered by the battery divided by the electric potential difference across the battery. We know the equivalent resistance, we know the total or the terminal voltage, therefore the charge total delivered by the battery is going to be equal to the equivalent capacitance times the electric potential difference across the terminals or 0. Point, or we should do it yeah 0 0.36 repeating times 10 to the negative 6 times the terminal voltage, or 12. The total charge delivered by the battery. Um, 4.36, again, the double repeating, uh, to the negative 6. Times 10 to the negative 6. 4.36 with double repeating times 10 to the negative 6. What are the dimensions here, John? Um, cool. Cool. So, if we look at our equivalent resistor, or I'm sorry, equivalent capacitor here, we have 4.36 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs delivered to this equivalent capacitor. Good. What else? This helps us because it also figures out what? The total charge delivered by the battery. How's it? Because, um, 
GD246 or uh, C1, C3246, C5 are all in series, it's, uh, they all have the same charge? Because these three capacitors are all in series, they have the same charge, and it's equal to the charge delivered by the battery. So each of these, this is equal to the charge on capacitor 1, which is equal to the charge on 3, 2, 4, 6, which is equal to the charge on capacitor 5. So we have figured out the charge stored on capacitor 3, 2, 4, 5. Now that we have the charge stored on capacitor 3, 2, 4, 5, what can we use that to find? Check. So you know that capacitor 3 and capacitor 2, 4, 6 are in parallel? True. So I think they should add the charge on 3 plus the charge on 2, 4, 6 equals the charge on 3, 2, 4, 6. I agree with that. We need to do something first. I agree with that, but we're not going to use that first. Redraw it. Uh, we've actually redrawn it. That's why I left everything up. We have figured out the capacitor or the charge on 3246. We also know the capacitance on 3246. We can use this to figure out what? Uh, the potential difference. The electric potential difference, because we know capacitance is equal to the charge per over electric potential difference. So the electric potential difference across 3246 is going to be equal to the charge on 3246 divided by the capacitance of 3246 or uh, 4.36 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by what was it? 4 thirds times 10 to the negative 6. The electric potential difference across 3, 2, 4, 6. not times 10 to the negative because it's both times 10 to the negative 6. So that is the electric potential difference that exists across this capacitor right here. Our goal is to figure out the electric potential difference that across exists across capacitor 3. Travis, in parallel, so they're This is the same as the electric potential difference that across exists across 3 and that that exists across 2, 4, 6. Our goal is to figure out the electric potential difference across 3, therefore 3.3 volts. We could, of course, go through and figure it out for 4 or something like that, but at this point, that seems logical to stop here. So notice, what we did is we started with the giant circuit equation, figured out what's in series and parallel, and went step by step to get down to one equivalent resistor. Then we use the basic concept, I'm sorry, equivalent capacitor, sorry. Then we use the basic equation for capacitance, which is charge over electric potential difference, and worked backwards through the circuits to get to the electric potential difference.